Good morning. Good morning. We welcome you to the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist for this holy rite of ordination. At this time, we ask that you please silence all cell phones that might disrupt the solemnity of this sacred ceremony. Thank you. Now, please stand as we greet our celebrant, Bishop Desitel.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and failings, asking the Lord for his healing and forgiveness in our lives. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord. Let us pray. Lord our God, who in governing your people make use of the ministry of priests, grant a persevering obedience to your will to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood. 
so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. 
Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever in, is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. in your heart and on your lips that you might worthily proclaim his holy gospel, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Let those to be ordained priests come forward. Alex Kirby Lawson. Present. Nicholas Bradford Ware. Present. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church ask you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendations of those concerned with their formation, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this joyful celebration. I'm happy to welcome in a special way Bishop Michael Gerald, Bishop Emeritus of the Diocese of Lafayette, as well as welcoming Father Josh Rodrigue, Rector of Notre Dame Seminary in New Orleans, and Father Bryce Sibley on the faculty of Notre Dame Seminary. I want to welcome all of my brother priests, all of the deacons and religious, and also to welcome in a special way our seminarians studying for the priesthood, and ask that you keep them in your prayers that they persevere in their vocation. Do you love me, Peter? Feed my sheep. This dramatic dialogue that we just heard proclaimed between our Lord and St. Peter takes place after Jesus had risen from the dead and after his miracle of the catching of the fish by the apostles in the Sea of Galilee. And so three times Jesus asks Peter, do you love me? Three times Peter answers, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And then the Lord commissions him, come, follow me. And they left everything and became his follower. In this way, we might say Peter makes up for the three times he had denied that he even knew who the Lord was. Today is a day of great joy for our Diocese of Lafayette, our brothers Nick and Alex, are to advance to the order of the priesthood. They are called by the church to be ministers of Jesus Christ to his people. And so it's very important for us to understand the nature of the rank of the priesthood in the church to which they are about to be raised. While it's true that all, by our baptism and confirmation, belong to what is called the priesthood of Jesus Christ, and we are all charged by our baptism and confirmation to bring the good news of the gospel into the world that we live in. And we do this by the example of our lives and the words that we speak. Nevertheless, our great high priest, Jesus Christ, himself chose certain disciples to carry out publicly in his name and for the sake of all a priestly office in the church. Jesus Christ was sent into the world by God the Father. He in turn sent the apostles into the world so that through them and their successors the saving mission would be continued 
until the close of the ages. They were called to imitate him. They were to teach the word of God, offer his perpetual sacrifice in the mass, and be good shepherds of his flock. Priests are established as co-workers of the order of bishops. They are joined to the bishop in the priestly office and are called to the service of the people of God. The sacrament of holy orders, Nick and Alex, will configure you ever more into the likeness of Christ. You will be joined to the priesthood of bishops and consecrated as true priests of the New Testament. You are called to preach the gospel, shepherd God's people, celebrate the liturgy, especially the holy sacrifice. In the order of priesthood, you will exercise the sacred duty of teaching in the name of Jesus Christ. And so give generously to everyone the word of God, which you have received with joy. Teach the truths of the Catholic faith as we find revealed in the sacred scriptures and handed down faithfully through the millennia by the church. Your teaching will be nourishment for the people of God which will unite them to Christ. Your teaching will be effective if it is the teaching of Jesus Christ and not your own. It will be powerful if it is reflected in your manner of life. And it will be fruitful if you are known to be friends of the Lord and love him as Peter did. See that you believe what you read, that you teach what you believe, and that you practice what you teach. You will also exercise the office of sanctifying the people of God. In your ministry, you join the spiritual sacrifice of the people to that perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the High Priest. This you will do in an unbloody way with your hands every time you offer Mass. Always understand what you do and imitate what you celebrate. As celebrants of the Lord's death and resurrection, the Church urges you to put to death whatever in your members is sinful and to walk in newness of life. <coughs> The Church calls you from among men and appoints you to serve God's people and to act on their behalf for those things that pertain to God. You will bring people into the family of God through baptism, forgive sins in the name of Christ, comfort the sick with holy oil, pray for them in the liturgy of the hours, unite couples in matrimony, and usher the dead into everlasting life in the church's funeral rites. Carry out this ministry of Jesus Christ the High Priest with constant joy and genuine love, attending not to your own concerns, but to those of Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, strive to bring those you serve into the one family that you may lead them to God the Father through Christ in the Holy Spirit. You will exercise the office of Jesus Christ, head and shepherd, united with your bishop and subject to him. Give your heart totally to Jesus Christ as you seek to imitate him, the good shepherd who laid down his life for the sheep. Keep your eyes on him who came not to be served, but to serve, who came to seek out and save what was lost. Then when you come before him to give an account of the gifts that you received today, he will say, well done, good and faithful servant. And when he asks you, do you love me? Answer as Peter did, 
Lord, you know that I love you. <clears throat> and so, dear sons, before you proceed to the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your resolve to undertake this office. Do you resolve to discharge unfailingly with the guidance of the Holy Spirit the office of the priesthood in the presbyteral rank as trustworthy co-workers with the order of bishops in feeding the Lord's flock? I do. <laughs> Do you resolve to carry out the ministry of the word worthily and wisely in preaching the gospel and teaching of the Catholic faith? I do. Do you resolve to celebrate the mysteries of Christ reverently and faithfully according to the tradition of the church, especially in the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the praise of God and the sanctification of the Christian people. I do. Do you resolve to implore with us the mercy of God for the people entrusted to you with zeal for the commandment to pray without ceasing? I do. Do you resolve to be united more closely each day to Christ the High Priest who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all. I do with the help of God. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Let us pray, dearly beloved, to God the Almighty Father, that he pour forth heavenly gifts in abundance on these his servants, whom he has chosen for the office of priesthood. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Pope 
perpetual and saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray. servants, the blessing of the Holy Spirit, and the power of priestly grace. 
that you may surround with your rich and unfailing gifts those whom we present to your fatherly care for consecration. Through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Oh. 
hands extended. Draw near, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, author of human dignity and bestower of all graces, through whom all things progress, through whom everything is made firm, who by the power of the Holy Spirit, in order to form a priestly people, establish among the ministers of Christ your Son in various orders. Already in the earlier covenant, there arose offices instituted by mystical rites, so that when you had set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in order and dignity to join them and assist them in their work. Thus in the desert, you instilled the spirit of Moses in the minds of 70 wise men. With them as helpers, he more easily governed your people. So too over the sons of Aaron, you poured an abundant share of their father's fullness, that the number of priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle which were a shadow of the good things to come. <laughs> but in these last days, Holy Father, you sent your Son into the world, Jesus, the Apostle and High Priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself unblemished to you and made his apostles who were consecrated in the truth sharers in his mission. To them you added companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation through all the world. Now we pray, O Lord, provide also for our weakness these helpers whom we need for the exercise of the apostolic priesthood. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to these your servants <coughs> the dignity of the priesthood, Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness. May they hold the office second in order, received from you, O God, and by the example of their manner of life, may they inspire right conduct. May they be trustworthy co-workers with our order, so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may they be faithful stewards of your mysteries so that your people may be renewed through the cleansing waters of rebirth and refreshed from your altar so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined to us, Lord, by imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to them and for the whole world. <clears throat> Thus may the full number of the nations gather together in Christ, become your one people, brought to perfection in your kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
May the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. May the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. God bless you. Okay. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace be with you, Alex. Congratulations. Thank you. Good. Peace be with you, Nick. And God bless you. You bet.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and work with human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your people in charity, to nourish them with your word and strengthen them with the scripture, with the sacraments 
as they give up their lives for you <coughs> and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As in exaltation, we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, <coughs> and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, <coughs> and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother, of God, of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, James, Thomas, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for these your servants, whom you have been pleased to raise to the order of priesthood. And in your mercy, keep them safe, keep safe your gifts in them, so that what they have received by divine commission, they may fulfill by divine assistance. <coughs> Be pleased, O Lord, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and blessing. <coughs> Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, open your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Take the chalice with you. Okay. The body and blood of Christ. 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 Thank you. 
body of Christ. My soul thirsts for God. Body of Christ. For the living God. Body of Christ. When shall I come and behold the face of God? Body of Christ. I will go to the altar of God, O God of my gladness, the God of my joy. Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants, that, united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. We thank you for joining us in this Eucharistic celebration and especially as we celebrate the sacrament of holy orders for the newly ordained Father Nicholas Ware and Father Alex Lanson. 
typical South Louisiana fashion, we want to continue the celebration. So immediately following Mass, the newly ordained will come in here to take a few pictures. I encourage you to, at uh, the dismissal, to go to the Cathedral Hall, which is to my left, your right, on the other side. There'll be a light reception where the newly ordained will receive you, offer their blessings. There'll be refreshments for you. We're grateful for the St. Landry Catholic Daughters Court who have provided that for us. Also, the newly ordained priest will be principal celebrants at the Mass for Father Alex Lawson in Assumption Parish in Franklin this evening at 4.30 with a reception to follow. And tomorrow, Father Nicholas Ware will be the principal celebrant at St. Joseph in Rain at 10 a.m. with a reception to follow. Please continue to uh, join us in this great celebration. Our diocese has so much to be grateful for, and we're really grateful for your presence here. So again, after Mass, maybe head to there, let the newly ordained take pictures, and then we'll usher them there without stopping so they can get to their spot so that they can receive you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.